Uh, this is a quick screencast on how to migrate a WordPress database. So first thing you want to do is you want to head into PHP My Admin through your cPanel, your Plesk, however else you access it. So I'm going to head over to WP Demo, which is the database I set up for this screencast. So first thing is you want to export your database content through the export page through PHP My Admin. Default settings work great. Nothing fancy needs to be done. Click on Go. I always just save it to Downloads because that's an easy grab for me on the Mac. You have your own workflow. So now you need to create a new database or navigate to the existing one you're going to be migrating to. So again, if you're using Plesk or cPanel, go through those motions. I'm on my local host with my PHP management, so I'm just going to add a database that way. And in this case, I'm going to call it WP Demo New. For the sake of everything and making it quick, so I'm going to navigate to WP Demo New. Again, empty table, which we are going to go to the import page and we're going to select our SQL dump and import that. Again, default settings were great, nothing special going on here. So here's our data WordPress saves. It's URLs in an absolute fashion within the database, especially as to where it resides for navigation. So you want to head over to the options table, and you'll see right here for option ID 1, the option name site URL, here's an hard-coded absolute URL. For the sake of the screencast, let's say moving from WP Demo to WP Demo New on the local host. So I'm just going to add new to the end of that. Enter to save. So I have one of the newer versions of PHP Admin that allows Ajax updating. I know some web hosts still have the old where you have to click edit and you can update your entry through here. There's another value that needs to be changed called the option name is for home. So we'll navigate to the next page. It's option ID 36, option name home. And again, you just update this like you did the previous setting. We're all set there. Now the next step is to update the post table because this has all your posts, pages, media entries, and navigation items. In particular we want to update the GUID which is a collection of absolute URLs. We're also going to want to update post content because the worst part about migrating a website is all the images in your posts and pages are referencing your staging site or your local host. So we're going to do an SQL query to just update everything at once and save you a lot of time. So go ahead to the SQL page, and then I'm just going to tab over to GitHub where I've posted a snippet that I'll be posting a link to in the video description. So go ahead and copy this, clear out this default text, and go ahead and paste in that snippet. So what this does is it's a search and replace. It's going to search for old domain name and then you're going to replace it with the new location. So in my case it's localhost slash WP demo and we're moving to localhost WP demo new. Now this could be localhost slash my website and it's going to mywebsite.com you would make the proper adjustments. Just copy that for time. And just go ahead, click go, and you'll see how many rows are affected. Should be everything. Uh, to verify, click over to browse. And then just scroll over to the right and double check the GUID again, and it should be all updated to your new absolute URL. Again, you're going to want to go, with, you're still going to want to, want to run through your site with like a spider or something to make sure your post content has been updated properly. There's one part that cannot be easily changed through the database, and that's widget content. So if you're using widgets to reference internal URLs or images, you're going to have to manually go through and change those because widget data is bundled together and serialized in the database, which means you cannot edit it in a text box. It's a garbled together, and if you make one minor change, it will break all the data.
So I hope this makes migrating WordPress a little bit easier for you. If you have any questions, drop me a comment in the video and I can help you out. Thanks.